Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> <laughs> That's my old neighbor. Real? Yeah. Real shit? Real shit. Real talk? Real talk. No beefs. That's all beef, baby Osada. <clears throat> Fucking wagyu. Don't wagyu. put it in tacos. <laughs> Stop. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Just my personal opinion. <laughs> we we're all free to have one. This is America. Stop. Is your Seventh Amendment right? <laughs> Whatever that may be. Something got my motherfucking eye, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when? my God. When, when, when? Dude, when? Like, when? Like five minutes ago? God. It hurt it, man. Shit. Bro, that happens to me all the time, dude. Oh, dude. I hate it. I hate it. It happens to me probably. It's because, okay. Because not only do I not have eyebrows, I don't have eyelashes either. So it's like everything's getting in that motherfucker. Like you got some luscious lash. You know what I'm saying? Do I? Oh yeah. But I have like four hairs up there. You know what I'm saying? So eyelashes are, are to keep shit out. They're the guards. I got no guards. They're the windshield wipers. Wait, 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 wait. Your holes need oil. They need no, you need new ones actually. You need you need to get your ass to O'Reilly's and buy some new windshield wipers. What you talking about? Your, eye, your eyelashes are your, your windshield wipers. So how the fuck are we going to go to O'Reilly's and get eyelashes? I'm saying. Oh. I got it. 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 You know what you're doing here? Being a fucking idiot? No. Being <laughs> a fucking idiot? We're blind, bro. Fuck. What are we, what? You know what? Dude. Okay. Hold on. You going horizontal or you going vertical? I go vertical. 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 I, don't. Yeah, I go vertical too. Vertical's good. Or vertical pins your shoulders, shoulder blades back. You know, with the pain, it sticks you in the, in the fucking pinpoint of your back. Yeah, for real. And it's like, ah, kind of forces you to just bam. <laughs> but who's got posture like this? Uh, Legit. Shaq. And Shaq don't got posture like that, bro. <laughs> Shaq's a walking giant, dude. What's what? It doesn't mean you can't have posture. You're right. You're totally right. Do, I, I just, yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. I was, uh, there was, like, this guy at work, right? And he, like, I think I told you about him. He likes, like, L.A. music, I guess. Like, he likes to support L.A. Right. No idea why he's a Niner fan. Doesn't make any sense. Makes no sense. Right? But I sent him, like, like, this Madre and shit. Because I was like, oh, those are L.A. Yeah. And he was like, oh, that's not really, like, my type of music. And I was like, you said you like Deftones and shit, bro. I don't know what else you want from me. And then uh, I sent him Sueños. He was like, oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, yeah? He's like, I love that. So I was trying to figure out. I was trying to. Uh, we went to go see uh, Past Archives. That's her name, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Instrumental band. Dude, they got no music out. And like, you go to their Instagram, nothing. No links or nothing. And I was trying to send it to him. I couldn't. Where that shit at? They yeah. just making music for Coachella Valley. Got it, yeah. Like, Coachella Valley exclusive <laughs> for real. That was they were dope, dude. I know it was it was I, really cool. I was digging it. Now imagine like awesome. someone singing over that Interstellar type shit. Yeah, I picture a woman singing for them though, but really passionately. Blonde woman. Literally, yeah. She got a big jugular though, like a man. <laughs> I don't know why. That'd be cool. Mm. That'd be cool. Why don't we do that? You can be the blonde woman. I lost the wig. <laughs> I did. No, I threw that fucker in the trash. That shit's annoying. The wig? Yes. Because the baby's like, oh, put it on. And then she like wants to play with my fucking hair. I can't I can't do it every day, bro. I know you recently had a little bit of scare with your uh with your headpiece, right? You had a little bit of scare. It was a fucking angle, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a nicely timed <laughs> A nicely timed image. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not going fucking bald. No, you're not. You're not. But what I'm but I did want to bring up to you is if you had a scare like that, would you try and hide it? 
Would you chop it? What would you do? I chop it. You chop it. I'm just. But that's if I noticed I was really thin. In. Like if I saw like a little bald spot, that could be from stress. That's totally understandable. Yeah. It'll come back. Totally. You know. Yeah. yeah. But if I started like thinning out, like damn, my hair looks thin. It's not thick. You know. I just fuck it. Why? Why save it? There's nothing to save. People know you're going bald. Just accept it. And then eventually you'll be bald long enough to where people are just used to it. It's like, oh, Dylan's looking bald. What are you? Yeah, I, I'm going bald. <laughs> Ain't no way. I, don't, uh, I feel like it's more embarrassing to have like three strands. I'm holding on to my hair as, as long as I can, but as soon, the second I see any weakness, I'm out. Wow. <laughs> Mowing the lawn, baby. Then you get your whole head tatted. Yeah, so it's, exactly. Just an excuse. Exactly, yeah. And then it would just look weird with the sun. You haven't had a haircut in a while either to even show the eagle or the spider on. Nope. Nope. Haven't, haven't really gave a fuck about a haircut, really. But you know what I have really been caring about? Mustache. Even yeah. pussy? The mustache. Oh. <laughs> the mustache. It's like you what? <laughs> um, it's- that is what I need to get to trimming. I need to bust out them fucking hedge scissors. <laughs> Trim them babies. When's the last time you just clean shaved? Nothing. Nothing, nothing? Yeah. Not even mustache? Nope. Dang, dude. I, I, I've had the mustache for the past couple of years. For sure. Not a couple of years. For sure, for sure. Set in stone, I've had the mustache for the past year. And a half. I guess we can look back on to the my pod. memory, a year is as far as I go. Yeah, that's a long time for you, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're speak of facts. <laughs> it's true. And it's a long time for me. Okay. But that's as far as I go. So that's why that's where the extent of my memory goes. So that's why I'm stopping it there. What does it feel like when you kiss someone with a stash? Well, it depends. <laughs> like, is it is it at the growth of mine? Yeah. Well, when I eat a burrito, for example, I'm getting that... <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? Do it again. Get that down. He said, I'll get that. I'm getting that thing, right? Oh my so god. When, <laughs> when I eat a burrito, I'm getting that thing, right? <laughs> and it just pushes in the fucking hairs into my mouth. Like an accessory to the fucking burrito. When I bite down, I'm biting down those hairs and ripping them out, dude. You really rip them out? It happens, bro. And you just like, uh, you just get like. I mean, sometimes they just fucking go hiding between the egg of my breakfast burrito, you know, but um, it happens. What do you do if you get hair in your food at a restaurant? Like, is it for me, though? Did, did, yeah. did the hair drop no, in? No, 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 no. You're eating like a nice thing of like pasta, whatever that is in your mind. A nice plate of pasta, and you take a bite, and you go, and you just pull out like a fucking ten inch hair, Ooh, just like okay. one of those long ones that hit in there. Hold on, here's the thing. Ooh, I feel like those are two completely different situations: getting the hair in your mouth and spotting the hair on the plate. You get what I'm saying? Those totally. are two completely uh, different okay. things. Okay, so what are you doing if you spot the hair on the plate? If I'm spotting the hair on the plate, I am one hundred percent. Taking it out uh-huh. and continuing the meal. Okay, in the oh, mouth. Actually, depends on, on the type of hair it is. Depends on the type of hair it is. If it's just a real normal looking brown hair. Okay, so what color hair are you not eating? I need no ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> For real? Or, or real crusty looking hair, obviously. I feel like it'd be moisturized up in that pasta sauce. Oh my god, hey, you're right. I'm pretty sure like an Alfredo with some chicken. See, and is it just on there, or is it like intertwined within the whole? Oh, it's intertwined, Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, they swirled that thing on the spoon before going in. Oof. Yeah. Um, I would. See, I'm not one to say say something either. Uh, I think I'd say something though. You you are totally the, the type to say something. You're not you're not not that type. No, I'm that type. No, I I, I won't no. say I won't say something. Oh yeah. Nah. Dude, when we went to get your drum set, the guy texted you like 
10 minutes max after passed and you're like, I'm not fucking getting it. He didn't fucking answer me. He didn't fucking answer me, that dumb bitch. And we didn't go get it. What are you talking about? <laughs> I totally do not remember. We were supposed to get a drum set. And it could have been more than 10 minutes. Because I remember I was like, you got a big deal out of it in my head. But I was like, I'm not buying the drum set. So, you're like, oh, now he wants to text? It was like, max 10 minutes after. He's like, I'm fucked up. I'm not getting it. I'm not fucking getting it. <laughs> Stick it, suck my dick. So, what does that mean? So, what does that you mean? You were totally tight to say something. If you didn't like your food, oh, sir, I think this food's shit. <laughs> I want my money back. You think you would say it like that? <laughs> not like that. This food is fucking shit. Give me my money back, please. I just feel like you'd just be like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't digging the food. I wasn't really digging the food. Maybe can I get something else or get my money back or free? Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, did you see the that table of, of girls that didn't want to pay for the food? Did you see that? Was it with one guy? There was a, no. The guy was the owner. Oh, okay. So I saw a different one actually, but go ahead. So there was like a group of girls sitting at the table and they all got boxes putting their food away. And they keep saying, oh, you're not, we're not fucking paying for this shit. And he was like, you guys ate most of it. Because he doesn't complain at all until the end. He's like, this is bullshit. He's like, you have to pay. It was like a group full of girls. Yeah. He's like, you have to fucking pay. And then they just kept talking shit. Like, oh, surf's like that. I'm not paying. Like, any excuse to not pay. And they're all boxing their food up and shit. And I was reading the comments because I like to see if the comments think what I think, which usually is, is true. It's pretty funny for the most part. Um, they were all like, bro, you're boxing the food. Like, if it was that bad, you would not be taking it home. For real, dude. You know? For real. I didn't even think of that. Like, if it's like one girl and she's fast fuck, I can see you're taking it home. <laughs> Like everyone else's food, like me, you know what I'm saying? So just brute stacking yeah. them up? Yeah, she's like, okay, but each girl is fucking boxes of shit. That's fucked up. Yeah, you're talking One time right. I didn't pay for food was at B-dubs. Dine and Dash. Really? Yeah. In a sense. Now, was it Dine and Dash just for the fun of Dine and Dash? Or no, just... it was Dine and Dash because they're a bunch of bitches. You care to explain the moment? Yeah. So I've been to B-dubs three times. It's only been good one time. Okay. Service-wise. Okay. For one, they didn't card me. That just shows you how bad their service is. That I didn't get carded. You think so? F yeah, so the only time it was good, I didn't get carded. They said, oh, this fucking 12-year-old looks like he's <laughs> old enough. Here you go. Here's a tall boy. That's what happened. So, so how old were you at the time? 22. Okay. But maybe you looked 22. Uh, I, don't, I think I looked too young. That's why I was getting carded. They even been carding me at the fucking liquor store lately. And it's like, dude, I'm a regular. Just stop carding me. Really? I had to tell the guy one time. There was another new guy there. I had to tell him. I was like, bro, just stop carding me. You're going to see me every day. Like, you'll see me goddamn near every day. I don't even buy monsters out from places because I want to support them. Right. To buy my monster. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Even though it's more expensive, I still buy it. Supporting local right there. For real. But anywho, we're at B-Dubs, right? And I'm with a group of people. We just did the escape room. Super fun, by the way. Cool. We got we got to do a group escape room, but we're I think we're too stupid to do it by ourselves. Think so? I think we need some some. Uh, honestly, I feel like we're just more stupid, like with facts and stuff. But I feel like problem solving, we can totally do that shit. Totally. We should try that. Daddy's Dungeon does escape room, just us. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be cool. If we Go it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rabbi does just finished escape room. It's late, and there's no one in this fucking beatups. How? What time is it? It's like 10. Okay. No one's there. Late. Late. No one's at this beat up. It's just our party. And like, there's like one couple and then there's like another table. And you can't see all the servers go to this fucking table with these two girls, like all the servers. And then the kitchen staff walks out and goes to the table. And then you kind of figure it out like, oh, they're friends. And then, oh shit, they used to work here. But we waited for our food for over two hours and we kept asking like, hey, when's the food coming? When's the food coming? And like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. But uh, then we're like, then we really, like, the whole table started bitching. Like, yo, you got your workers literally sitting in the booth with those girls. Where's our food? Mm. You know? Like, we've been here for two hours. And then uh, um, the food finally came out, and it was, like, stone cold. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So we bitched, like, the whole table. Not me, but the table bitched for me. And they cut my bill in half when I was paying for three people at the time. So they cut it in half. I was like, fuck yeah, sick. 
And then he starts taking everyone's card, and he missed mine. No, no, this fucker didn't grab my shit. I'm just gonna walk out. He thinks he grabbed my shit. I'm just gonna walk out. Well, well. Boom, I walked out. The worst service I ever had. You did your part. Yeah. You put the card down. He failed to grab it. Idiot. Idiot. But yeah. You the one and only Dine and Dash. The bag. The one and only, huh? Yeah. How did you feel? Did you feel kind of like bad boy after that? Um, no. Were you I was, mad? I was more mad. I was like, this motherfucker, dude. I feel that, especially when you're probably starving too. Yeah, and then I don't know what we ate after. I know we all went out somewhere else after, but it was probably something cheap. Wing stop is the move for the wings. It's too expensive, bro. Like I was looking at Sam's Club the other day. The thing is, is that no one knows how to make it like wings stop. You know what I'm saying? No, no. It's harder than at home. Yeah. But it was ten pounds a week for like twenty eight bucks, and I was like, bro, twenty eight dollars at wing stop is like fifteen wing oh, combo for real. That's a fifteen wing combo. How many wings you get in those ten pounds? Like a, uh, at least a hundred. Like it's a big fucking Jesus bag. Lord. Like you know those bags of frozen chicken breast? Yes. That's how big the bag was, full of chicken wings. That's a fuck ton of wing. A literal fuck ton. That ain't hundred, huh? That ain't a hundred. Think that's a hundred? Yeah. I don't think so. But this thought came to my head right now. So I remember like the other day, <laughs> where were we? Oh, we were in the car. We were driving from India, and I started telling that story of when, like, you cracked your head open, and then, like, I fucked my leg up. Remember? Okay. And you're like, why did you say this shit on the pod like that? Yeah, for real, dude. dude. I said this you story. so descriptive and so, so detailed. So descriptive. And I, I, I want to tell other stories like that, but I don't know what, what well, you're talking well, When about. you were doing that at the moment, do you remember if you were, like thinking to do that or was it just coming out naturally it was coming out naturally but the thing was is that like sometimes like I and mean, it's kind of weird like when i will lose focus but i see like a memory in my head of what happened like legit like your eyes will lose focus yeah kind of like kind of blank out as i'm talking and i can see it live in my brain it's like you step in behind into your controls yeah and it's like a it's like a the pass the opacity is like at 60 you know so i can still see the world plus the vision uh, yeah it was weird that's why i was so descriptive but like, on the pod sometimes i'm just a fucking stupid it's like you have those apple uh the vr you think that's worth 3500 dollars? hell no well that'd be pretty cool to use i'll tell you that but i'll get like out. you get like five porn videos on at the same time <laughs> You know when you're like attention span cooked. <laughs> you know, they call that shit brain rot now, right? What? Brain rot. Is, it, is that what that is? I think so. We're gonna turn into zombies soon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, I remember you were telling me like, oh, do you think AI will take over? I was like, yeah, eventually. Plus or minus years when AI takes over. I don't think AI is, t- AI is taking over. You don't think so? Nope. Why? I don't think so. Why? I have hope. Hope for what? Like, give me, give me your explanation. Or I need the hypothesis. Us humans, I don't fucking have no details. I just think we could fight it out. I think we could stop it. Simple. Because you already got that quadriplegic dude playing video games in his brain. With his brain. Does that shit like connect like via Bluetooth or something? Like, how does that shit work? <laughs> does he need to be on Wi Fi the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Yo, how, you, how, okay, much ra- so, okay. how much RAM you got in that home? Well, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think that he'll ever get to a point to where he'll have robotic arms and shit and he can walk with them using his brain? He controls the robotic shit, like his arms and legs. Before I answer that, can you explain what happened with that guy? What is he What is he doing? He's a quadriplegic. But what is the shit? And he has a neural link thing, right? Uh-huh. So what is that neural link allowing him to do? That I don't know. What I do know is that he's played video games with it. Civilization Six, to be exact. It's a strategy game. It's fucking long. I tried. I suck. So does he connect via Bluetooth? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> saying. So like, that thing is that smart. It can kind of like yeah jump to. But different... I'm saying like, do you think they'll ever get to a point to where they got the robotic arm right and the robotic leg and he's literally walking second nature to him with his brain? Yeah, it seems like it. You know, you say, oh, I'm just walking now. Well, I don't know, man. Because I think that might be something a little more into the Neuralink with the electrical connection type things, the connection between that. I don't fucking know. But 
I feel like if it's neural link to the body, it, maybe it can happen someday, but I feel like it would take a lot longer. Oh, totally. You understand what I'm saying? But he's the first one, so there's like so many more after him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So many people that want to try it. Like I see, I like, I'm not on Twitter, but when I was on Twitter, I would see literal people like at Elon Musk. I want the neural link. Like so many fucking people. Should be down to try it? No. That's AI shit that you have hope for. That's taking over after that. That AI. Elon can just be like, oh, I feel like being a piece of shit today. Bob just took over all your brains. Now you're mine. Plates in. Plates like, to put the chum bucket. They can be like a hitman type shit. You know, hitman just work. They're just a barcode. They're just working. Yeah. That's scary. Total enslavement. That's fucking scary. What's that movie? I Am Robot? Yo, that's a sick ass name. What, Totally Enslaved? I Am Robot? Totally Enslaved? That is funny. I Robot. Yeah, I Robot. With Will Smith? Yeah, and isn't that like a bunch of robots working with people in reality? Yeah. I think you, so. You, you know robots are taking jobs away from America. 100%. We don't want those fucking robots. Are you kidding me? They have robots now to stock the the shelves and trucks. We hate those fucking robots. Hate those fucking robots. Seeing jobs. One day it'll take our job. Or or, or all, the, all the robots that have been making those fucking uh, Netflix movies. A, b- a bunch of the new stuff is made by AI. That's so stupid. I'm glad that, I'm glad they won that case to where they can't use the AI face. You know? Uh-huh. The actor's likeliness and shit. Yeah. Bunch of bitches, man. For real. But believe, but believe me, um, I'm sure there are some actors that will be bought out for that kind of stuff, don't oh, you think? Totally. Like Bruce Willis, I think he was, right? Yeah, he was. But he's he's gonna be dead soon. R.I.P. Not yet, but. <laughs> brother, you said you had some shit to tell me, brother. Yes. So, you know. We know that I wasn't the biggest fan of Lizzo, right? I don't, I'm not, I was not aware of that. Lizzo, she was like, I don't know, but she kind of got on my nerves sometimes. Okay. Right? I think she did that to everybody. And um, so recently, South Park dropped a new episode with a Lizzo reference. Oh, nice. And it was it had something to do with her weight and stuff like that, obviously. Uh-huh. And the, the once the whole she did a live reaction of it. Okay. And once the whole episode was done, her reaction was crazy, dude. Well, it wasn't crazy, but it, but it, it was like it was crazy to me because with the reaction, she kind of like gained a fan in a way. I'm not gonna listen to her fucking music, no way. <laughs> No fucking way in hell am I going to listen to that shit. So, but, she, so her reaction was in a good way. Yeah, totally. Oh, okay. Like so she, you gained respect. Yeah, hell yeah, 100%. Like, she was banging on them fools. You know what I mean? Damn. She was, was like, she I'm that bitch. If you if these guys that make this huge-ass comedy show writing about me, you know what I mean? Oh, so she was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was like, I'm that bitch. I was like, yeah, you that bitch, dude, honestly, for doing this shit. Fuck yeah. But, I mean... Music a little, eh. Have you heard any of her songs? I have. Have you? I have. Then why are you talking shit? That shit's gas. Shit's good. It's all right. Personally. You think that I'm good enough? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's Ice Spice. I know. I'm just kidding. Shit, yeah, shit, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, too. Man. So Man. that, like, that's what you had to tell me that was that important? Uh, no, I did say it was important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I, I, I guess it was I guess it was, impo- I guess it, I guess it was important. <laughs> I guess it was important if uh, I decided to note it. That's so fucking true. Totally. Right? Totally important. There's so much stuff that I don't decide to note in my day, and that one is one of them, so I'd, I'd call it important. Okay, what things do you think that you don't note in your day? Um, like, what's not important to you during your day? Well, let me see. Uh, <laughs> fuck. When a shorter list would be what is important. Okay, what is important? What's something that you take a note of every day? Every day? Yeah. Phone wallet keys. Every day. That's, that's, I'm talking about like a, like you're doing something. Oh, doing something? Like something that you do on the daily. Like, do you take a note of your shit? I spe- oh, it's kind of more or something like. Or is it only like, when it's a good shit? Like, yo, that was a good shit. No, no. I'm kind of thinking of, of, of something that has to do like at work, right? Okay. 
like when I walk, like, we gotta walk with intention. Uh-huh. You'll walk like I'm going somewhere in a rush. Yep. Even though I'm probably not gonna do anything at the end of it. Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's just a note that I have in my head. Does that make sense? Walk with intention. Walk with attention. Is that the kind of note you're referring to? Or is yes, that... yes. I'm so... Yeah. And then I can't even think of a note that I make. I don't know. Just, I just literally go there and say, just work. Work, motherfucker. Get to work, motherfucker. Oh, mine's like, man, is it three o'clock yet? <laughs> <laughs> is it three yet? <laughs> so I, I, I No, but despite me saying that, I really do like enjoy my job. I know yeah. that. I know. I do. I know. Oh, yeah, and we're back, everybody. Yeah. Sorry. We're back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is hot as fuck in here, dog. Is it for real? Yeah. Bro, I gotta fucking lock in right now. Yeah. See, locking. No, hold on, hold on. Locking in is not proper posture, though. When you lock in, you gotta arch, you gotta slouch. That is proper locking in posture. Yes or no? I drive for real. That, <laughs> but that's locked in. <laughs> you know, bro. It's funny because like, because yeah. I remember you said, "Oh, change your mirror to where it's at your posture." Yeah. So I changed my mirror there, so I'll be catching myself like this. I'm like, fuck, oh, piece of shit, man. Because <laughs> I drive like this with like one arm. Too fucking high. Uh, yeah, I'm like, fuck, I can't. See. All I see is the fucking roof. So I'm like, fuck, dude, I gotta fix this shit. So I gotta sit up. I'm like, fuck, don't, dude. Honestly, get fucking tired. Yeah, it's man. tiring. It is. It is. Cause... But for all y'all, y'all that see me like walking around, like that motherfucker got terrible posture. So. And I feel like you'll look taller too. Totally. You'll look taller if you fix it, but totally. you, you think our ancestors had pretty good posture or not? Fuck yeah. Yeah? They weren't lazy like us. They were fucking out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? How far back you going? I'm thinking like Native Americans. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Look I that. don't know why. <laughs> See, I was I was thinking more like Neanderthals and stuff like that. That's even older than Native Americans. Yeah. Totally. I'm, anything like, I'm going like 1920, no, 1960s. Maybe that's when the bad posture started in the 60s. In the 60s. Because huh? things started getting comfortable. Technology was booming. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, hey. Oh, Lazy Boy was invented. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Honey, give me a beer. Give me a beer, honey. Throw it back. Throw it back on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get, give me that TV dinner, baby. Before you get here, come on. Like, oh, dude, I'm just picturing this carpenter with just an axe, and he's just like forming shit with the axe, like super quick. like... Oh, the video. Yeah, dude. The drywall. The yes, drywall. Yes, dude. Perfect. Now that is some craftsmanship. Totally. Yeah, that's totally God now in this day and age. It, it is in, in a way. In a way. I feel like that may be gone in a way. Except um, there are a bunch of new forms or mediums, I should say, that still have that type of professionalism and technique and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That weren't present back in that day when that was around. So you're saying there's new technique? No. I'm not saying there's new, 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 a new technique. What I'm saying is there's like a... That drywaller is kind of like a bench player in the game right now when there's Obsolete. other stars yeah. that really hone in on their craftsmanship and shit. I'm not saying cra- carpenters don't, but... For example, I think the real big one right now is tattoo artists. Okay. Right? So how they're so crazy with their technique and all that kind of stuff. They're putting out these insane pieces that nobody thought could be possible ever. Like I remember I remember um color portraits were a thing that was like Oh, so hard. Oh, dude, you're not going to get a color portrait and have it look good. You yeah. Know what I mean, uh-huh. but now there's people doing stuff that looks like a freaking sticker. Oh, like the patch, dude. Yeah, that's the insane. The guy that does patches, those are awesome. Those it's, are probably expensive, though. Yeah, 100%. The thing is, it's it's crap. That's See, that's craftsmanship. For real. That's really honing in on your, your medium. I your need art. your brother to hone in on my medium. Oh, you're extra large, you mean. Like, I need him <laughs> to hone in and just do it. Just go to hell. I'm that extra large. Oh, on my wieners. <laughs> Do you think he would touch on my wiener? I'm sure he would. If you're down, I'm sure he would. Because I feel like just speaking out of the ass here, me thinking what he would pick, um, he would do it just to get that experience under his belt. Like, oh, I kind of know what a wiener feels like to ta- to tattoo. So if it ever comes about in my career again, I know what to do. I know how to do it. Okay, and I'll so, bang it out. So what 
What do you think would be a good dick tattoo? Instantly, my mind just goes to Avatar. Instantly, my arrow. My mind went to ar- shielded armor, <laughs> like a knight. <laughs> Fucking armor. Shielded armor. <laughs> Chain link and shit. I don't know. Hey, that'd be badass. Shielded armor, though, you know, like that crazy, freaking. But I'd I'd want my veins to be like super outlined. Oh, that's intense. Like so they pop, you know. You know what I'm saying that would be crazy. Yeah. But would it be tattooed the real veins on your wiener, or is it just kind of like fictional? Whatever the artist comes up with. Not a bit. The veins on my wiener. I want him to like kind of outline them. <laughs> you know, so like you know how they're like circular. The veins are like circular. Okay. I want him to do an outline of the veins so they pop. So it looks like a cartoon dick. <laughs> totally doable. Just do the veins of my cock. Now I don't know if um That would be funny. That's my brother's medium right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just more American traditional style. <laughs> I'm sure you could draw a line. Oh totally. 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 Totally could draw a line on a window. Yeah, I'm sure you could do anything that comes in front of him. And like my with time. You think you can eat a human? Huh? You said anything. Can you think you can eat a human? Me? Your brother. Oh, if he really put his mind to it, I'm sure he could. <laughs> and we're back. He could do anything he wanted. As long as he puts his mind to it. You wanna know what I put my mind to this week? What, what, what do you put your mind to? You do know. This again. I went to the Getty Museum and it was like I was blown away. Blown away. Literally blown away. For one, they're fucking stupid. They didn't check for the stiz. Stupid. Hey. Fucking idiots. Okay, stop dry snitching, bro. We don't believe, we'll believe about the name. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, brought that shit in. Fun. And then I was like, oh, let's find a corner, honey. Let's find ourselves a nice corner. And it's free. And it was free. No, but dude, it was beautiful. Literally everything. It was like, oh, here's the French area. Here's the Italian area. Here's whatever area. But I would just go to every painting and just like admire it. Every painting was different. And then we went to this one room with this one artist. And I was like, yeah, this motherfucker was a step above everybody else at this period. Really? It was on like so. the, the 1500s. And I was like, this motherfucker got it. Who was the 1500s? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember any of the names. Or nothing. I just remember how beautiful the paintings were. Was it a knight? Was it a cowboy? All these paintings were like a religious. You're right. Like probably a knight like or something. Christian esque type things. Okay. Like a bunch of Jesus, a bunch of like the Virgin, and all that shit. I didn't see no knights or nothing. <laughs> no knights or cowboys. No Templars or nor especially no cowboys. Damn. But it was. Like, I'm telling you, bro, it was like a picture. Like, you were talking about, like, crazy. And it was just oil painting. Like, that one fucker did it. He liked that. But I kept trying to get he pictures. Kinda like I that. kept trying to get, like, selfies with him. And they, they had to keep telling me to move away. And I was like, I'm not going to fucking touch it, asshole. I just want a fucking picture. Oh, but you were just putting yourself up to it a little bit. Uh, I would say, like, from where my back is to the walls where the picture was. Oh. It's not that close. No. Nah. And then, like, they make the things to read super small. How the fuck, like, are we going to be 10 feet back? For real, for real. If you want me to be back, put some real small, fucker. Or set your guard up. I do tell you one thing, though. I was in this one room, and they had all these vases and stuff, like, porcelain type shit. Okay. And... <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I can touch it. Because there was nobody there. The glass was so fucking clean, bro. No. Dude, you couldn't even tell I was there. They had your fucking smudges on it now. <laughs> you left your smudges on it now. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't broke my finger. Oh, my God, dude. No dude, way. The glass was so clean, and it was all over. The whole the whole room with all the color really and shit like that. Glass. Around it. it was how, so how do they fucking- do that? Dude, I don't know. And shout out to whoever cleans that fucking window because that shit is noise. I think they vacuum air out of it. Totally. That's the only way to preserve that shit. You have to. It's insane. They had like this porcelain turkey from like the 1400s. Porcelain turkey? Yeah. And like a coyote like eating like a something. Okay. They were separate. But it was from the 1400s and it just had like one crack at the base. You know? Like... 
how the fuck that shit lasted so long is insane. And I, I recently saw this one video where it was like this uh, painting of a lady, right? It was a zoomed in paint. It was a zoomed in video of it. Yeah. But they were like removing all because you know how old paintings they have like a coffee color look to them. Yeah. So they were putting some on it to remove all that. And it was showing the true colors of it and everything, and it was it was fucking dope, dude. Oh, dude, I want to see that. I would like to see the true colors of how everything was back in those days. You know what I'm saying? See, like, that's all, when I had that idea. I totally agree with you. Like all the paintings of the architecture and shit, yeah. I would love to see the true colors of them. Why don't they do it to everything? Or you, or you think they do? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, like, that's when I had that idea, because it was just so much, like, like blood and death you know we just talk about that shit in the bible and it just like i was like bro how because that shit's gory as fuck dude i feel like wherever to like do something like a song i said that'd be sick just talk about that brainstorm it yeah that is lit sounds dope and like my favorite one that i posted remember i was this my favorite one it was like that guy holding up jesus with the cross and jesus all bloody and shit and the serpents are crying crazy i was like that's hard every every time i saw a penny i was like damn that's hard so these people that drew these real religious things what were they referencing you know what i mean see but they there was like a a lot of it was like oh this was a vision this guy had oh okay and it was like mary was with her new son and her fucking man's was crying in his sleep and they were all scared that the man's looked demonic uh-huh. in his sleep you know what i'm saying it's a weird shit it was so cool though. And do you believe in like people being possessed and exorcisms and stuff? Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. Like to what extent? Like that exorcist type shit. I'm sure it gets worse at times. Yeah. You know? But you think people can be taken over by some type of spirit? Totally. But the only way that that happens is if is if you let them in. You think so, huh? I mean, I'm just getting this shit off of Supernatural, so... This <laughs> is the show. <laughs> That's what I'm basing my shit off of. They're, Sam and Dean, Sam baby. and Dean are fucking accurate to me, baby. I have not seen that show in the longest time. I never finished it, and I will never. I got to, like, season 12 or something. Pretty far deep. I got to the part where they met that, uh... Hold on, don't spoil it. My dad been watching this shit. You're right. Dad, if you're gonna do this, cut out. No. Cut it. I don't even remember enough. I don't even remember enough. <laughs> to be fair... I'll just let it go. I'll take the L on this one. I hear him watching it every night. So hey, it was dope, dude. Is there anything you're watching right now? You were watching it with me, Daddy. Jujutsu Kaiser? I'm that, rewatching it. You're rewatching it. They just added it on Netflix. It looked dope. <laughs> it looked dope. But But I feel like they were very the the fightings was like so very descriptive. As far as like the, the moves they were gonna make and everything. What are you talking about? So they were talking about how, oh, if if he hits me one more time, it's gonna Dude. weaken my health. Uh-huh. And you know, it was just I don't know. I wasn't feeling that part. Maybe just fight a little bit. You know what I mean? So what they're doing is they're analyzing uh-huh. every character analyzes and he's like, Oh shit, he's like well, they're just analyzing the fight. That's why he was like, oh, they're not that strong, but if I take a few more, I'm going to get hurt. Uh-huh. It's just analyzing it. And when I was watching it, I kind of envisioned it kind of like a Pokemon game. You know, when you make your move and then Pikachu was hurt by this fucking... Yeah. Storm Bluff, whatever, I don't know, whatever it may be. Right? That's how I imagined it. They were fighting like that. I don't know, dude. This was badass to me. Yeah, it was sick. It was sick. A lot of fighting and a lot of ass kicking. It's fucking awesome. They need the goriest anime. The goriest anime there is. Viewers tap in. Viewers tap in. I need the goriest anime there is, whether it be fighting, scary, whatever. High school HD. I need anything. High school HD. High school HD? Yeah. I'll check that out. What is that? What is that about? <laughs> what is that? I've always seen memes of it, but it's just like girls with giant tits. <laughs> that's all it is oh. <laughs> I don't even know what the show's about that's uh, I've only seen memes of that shit it's pretty scary <laughs> might need to do some research yeah 
No, but other than that, not watching shit. It's just a lot of Helldiver shit, honestly. I don't even play. I just watch. Better at this point. Hey, but sometimes watching other people play is the move. Well, dude, this guy goes in solo Helldive, which is the hardest difficulty, and then solo is even fucking harder. And he's just beating ass, and it's like nothing to him. It's like you're kind of people watching in a way. Totally. You know? And people, like, I don't know if you do it, but people watch people watching out in public. We talk about this shit all the time, baby. So fun. This is the best. You saw, like, some little kid eat shit. That's the best. When you see a little kid eat shit, that's the funniest. It, nothing tops a little kid eating shit. You know, you're just, like, you're sitting there at the mall or something. You're, like, you got your fucking hot dog on a stick. You're sitting there, and this kid's, like, oh, shit, a balloon. He's running towards it and just, bam. You're, like, oh, fuck. And you start laughing after. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> and then you got to try and hold it in <laughs> so they don't hear you. The best laughs are, like, when you know you're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> and then you're just holding it in. And then you're, like, your friend is just, like, oh. And then one of you breaks and you guys both start laughing. That's the best laugh. That hard fucking laugh. See, I didn't have those laughs with my classmates. I think I had those laughs more with my brother. Uh, it's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? But the same exact thing. Like, we're fucking in trouble. We're not supposed to laugh. Right? But we're just gonna fucking poker that shit. Because we can't laugh. Can't let it out. Yeah, that's the best. I remember one time... <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. But I remember one time he was, like, mad at all of us. So we, were, we were spending the night at their house. I forgot what the fuck we were doing. I think we were playing on our phone or something at the table when there was dinner. And then he was getting mad. And me being a piece of shit, he was like, there's no eating at the dinner table. And then we all started laughing because he said it wrong. You're supposed to eat at the dinner table. Right. But he was trying to say something else. But, oh, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. God, dude, why do kids? Why are kids such pieces of shit? Uh, kids are such pieces of shit. You know which kids I want to bring up? As a matter of fact, the fucking Upland High School kids. Holy fuck! That was hey, a, shout out the U, dude. Shout out the U, dude. Shout out the what U. What the fuck, bro? Shout out the U, dog. <laughs> hey, those fucking kids, dude. Hey, Upland Mets, tap in. A lot of you Upland Mets were on the high school. That's a, that. Were you, were you guys the fuckers or the fuckies? That is insane. Tap in. Poor kid, man. He's getting yeah. old school now. Hey, I hope he gets the fucking bag, too. I hope so. Because that shows, like, neglect and shit. Like, how the fuck is a coach not noticing that? Yeah. Where's the coach when all these players... Like, that was a minute video. And who knows how many times they've done that. Right, right, right. And it was still going. You know, I want to see the video not blurred, but yeah. Yeah, for real, man. Give us a little detail. You know I mean? So, Jose, you want to tell everyone what the fuck happened? In the video? Yeah. We'll explain the video. Well... In the video, it seemed like there was these group of baseball players, right? And they had this one kid kind of pinned down, harassing them, bullying them, right? Yeah. Did they? I'm still unclear. Did they give him a wedgie? I don't. I didn't see that, but they did show something in his ass. I I did see that too. Pants on, so I don't know. Doubt that they were it's still it, there. It still yeah, it still hurts. Oh yeah, totally. It still hurts, Daddy. But um. It actually made me really sad when I saw that. Yeah? Yeah, it really did. I just got like, dude, this is fucked up. I you, felt like, damn, this is fucked up. You sent that to me yesterday yeah. when I was editing. And I watched it and I was n not sad. Disappointed. Totally. Disappointed. I remember you said that you heard shit like that when we went to high school. And I was like, I never heard that shit. I, I would hear of rumors like that. Yeah. That's fucked up, dude. And, well, especially when I was uh, around the, the basketball crowd. Cause those, uh, those guys kind of, they there was a couple players that would go between the two, uh -huh. and you'd hear about some shit, you know. We'll get back to this in a second. I just want to preface this that if you're like a baseball player, you can play any sport. But if you're a football player, you're only good at football. To an extent. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I've always seen that. Like, you always see those memes of, like, football players in the paint just absolutely just carrying and just running people over. They don't know how to play. Yeah, absolutely not. They don't know how to play. And I really think it comes down to the hand-eye coordination of a baseball, playing baseball. The like Bo Jackson. Totally, dude. The guy's a savage. Goated. Goated. Gone too soon, for real. 
He's not dead, but he left the league way too soon. That's it. Freak okay. injury. No, but it's like a football player cannot play baseball. He's terrible. I've seen videos. They're all ass. Obviously, it depends on it depends on the caliber of person. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, dude. I think it's just all the same. Because I think LeBron James was a great example. He went from football to basketball. LeBron was terrible at football. Right. But like literally terrible. So 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 was Draymond. Okay, so now we're talking stars here. So they need to be good at both, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's definitely not LeBron James end. Um <laughs> Yes, I think you're right then. I don't have any examples of that. I don't know. But yeah. This isn't like the eighties anymore where you do that shit and it's funny. Like no. shit's not funny. Or what what like what enjoyment do you get out of that? What is it like some initiation shit? That's something? what they were saying. That's stupid though. It's fucking high school. You're not gonna see these people ever again. Like what? It, you know what the initiation was when he saw his list that he, when he saw his name on the list that he made the team. That's the initiation. Like, we had like three thousand graduates with us at, the, uh, at one time, right? You would say. I would say so. Yeah. How many of those people do you talk to? You? On a regular. On a regular. I would say on a weekly basis, like maybe once a week. One. Two. There's more than that. Nah, two. You know? Yeah, two people. And it's like, you're never going to see those kids in high school ever again. Never. So what's the point of initiation and shit like that? It's not college. College is different. You're there for a while, baby, as an adult. Well, I mean, depends on where you think you're going for that you sport career, you know? Because high school is mandatory. Like, you know, oh, you, got, totally. you got to graduate through that. But college, you could just leave whenever you want. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, initiation in high school is fucking stupid. Yeah, 100%. You'll never see them again. So what about what about initiation, stuff like that, in, um, like, a professional level? I think it's different. Different in what way? I don't know. I just feel like they want it more. So they'll do it. I'm like, remember those kids that would practice naked because they fucked up so bad? The <laughs> <they don't... laughs> hey, those kids wanted to be on that fucking team. Fucking those kids wanted. <laughs> <laughs> they were working hard for that shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh dude, that just brought like a fucking PTSD flashback. Fucking kids, man. Why? If you're dude? practicing naked. You're not going to NFL. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking facts, though. You're. Facts. Dude, the coach literally making you practice naked. You're not making it out the. You're not making it. Sorry. You're not making it out the. Sorry, street. kid. <laughs> you're not making it out the. We'll make it out the hood, but not to the league. Because <laughs> like, when, when I, I left the Haven uh, the other day, whenever I went, and I went up the street, and there's a fucking, there's a sorority house, a sorority house. Is there? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck in Pomona on Holt? Pomona on Holt? Yeah. Of all places? I was like, what the fuck? They're definitely doing some type of initiation. Like, yeah, you got to stand out on the street and sell your, sell your butthole for three weeks. Well, have you ever seen that movie, Burning Sands, uh-uh. on Netflix? No. It was this uh, it was this sorority, pretty much the same exact thing to where they had like a hell week type of thing, you know? And they had, they had to go through it to get in. And the stuff that they would do to them, man, oh, it was, it was pretty intense, yeah. Pretty intense sometimes, and the the the, the lengths that these kids would push them themselves through just to be a part of something like that, because it, it gets to a point where it's not just like high school, you know, and eventually in college, you start getting a lot more connections and shit. The thing is, those are your friends for life, though. That's why I said it was a little different in college, you know. But like in that movie, for example, um, if you were a part of that sorority you pretty much had the best connections there were to have. It's like going to Harvard. You know? Yeah, pretty much. It's like what, once you have the name Harvard, it's over. Yeah. But that's why they were pushing themselves to, to do it, to go through all this stuff. Would you ever get branded like them? You know, they get like the horseshoe and shit? No, absolutely not. Or like Beta Kappa Psi? Only if I thought it was sick. Oh, if that shit looks sick, I'll do it maybe. Where are you getting branded? Huh. Where am I getting branded? Maybe back here somewhere. 
so everyone can see it. Right. I feel like that should get affected right. really easily, though. You think so? Yeah. With proper care, it will not. I mean, they're fucking... They're burning you with a rusty-ass letter. Oh, okay. So now it's rusty. All right. Now I would a, assume it's rusty. It's, it's a rusty like, brand. Oh, we, we've been branding people with this fucking stick since 1942, brother. You're going to be part of history now. And then they got, like, the picture on the wall each year. There's a new Sorority <laughs> picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man but I would only do it if I thought it looked cool cause you know that scarification is a real big thing oh dude I seen some gnarly ones yeah dude, that's, they go intense that's too much dude no offense that's too much <laughs> don't you think well dude that, that has been something that has been done way before us our ancestors used to do that like you told me about a guy who literally looks like a demon. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then now I'm not just talking about scarification for him. Like this dude literally had teeth implants, implants in his skull, like like ears uh, cut to a different shape and everything. You know what I'm saying? So this dude had a bunch of different types of things done to him to make himself look like a gargoyle like a de demon. Yeah. Hey, honestly, that guy's right, dude. If I would have shot, shot on the street, you're dead. I would have shot his ass. You think that's a fucking like... You know, like he's that? on his daily jog, but you don't know that. That's, yeah. Oh shit! There's a there's a gorgile coming at me. How do you say it? Gorgile. Gorgile coming at me. How do you say it? Gargoyle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon. Like no, dude, you're right though. It's totally a Pokemon. Gorgile, go. I'm dying. But dude, what uh, what were they saying? I the, feel like I wanted the to scarring. Start. Yeah, our ancestors have been doing that forever. Like who? Like natives. Do they? Yeah, dude. That's, oh, well, especially the ones that I've seen in, um, like, Mexico and stuff like that. Uh -huh. They'll um, mark their skin and even tattoos as well. And even the stretching of the ears. Oh, that's body modification for sure. They, they, do, they did all that kind of stuff to represent different milestones in their life. What's that one movie? Fuck. The, the Miles? Yes, dude. They had, like, bone and shit. Yeah, yeah. So all, they had different meanings for all that kind of stuff. But they got fucked, though, for real. Hard. Hella hard. That's well, they sketchy. They using, like, arrows and shit, and here comes a boat with guns. How embarrassing. Get wrecked. Yeah, for real, man. Influenza. You think that could have been prevented? You think they could have fought, fought him? No. Nothing could have beat him, you don't think? If they were more advanced, yeah. But, like, just like everyone else at the time, you didn't know of anybody else that, that, you're, that you've never traveled to. Like, water out there? It took months to get over here, you know? Yeah. To fight. So let me ask you this. If they're having the crazy technology to make all these pyramids, why don't they have this crazy technology applied to make their weapons? Why can't they be, have that vibranium? See? You know what I'm saying? They just weren't there yet. They weren't at the fucking... They, they weren't there. Should have been but They there. were still sacrificing kids' heads for, for the sun god. Goddamn right, baby. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, dude. That's crazy, though, man. They were some savages. I got one more thing to tell you. So, I told you we were talking about fast food today in the, the IEHC Discord. Oh, yes. Man, 197, he really, he really hit me with it. He really hit me with fucking Jesus Christ himself. Popeyes. No. Popeyes. <laughs> those canes, those canes. He said, get two canes, side of fries, and three tenders. Two cane sauce. Two cane sauce? Yeah. Side of fries. You chop them up, and you just fucking dump the sauce on top. It's fucking canes fries. Canes fries? Yeah, just like, boom. And then imagine you put some red hot on that, some French red hot. That is pretty lit. Dude, it looks so good. It's like buffalo ranch. He sent a picture. Buffalo ranch fries. He sent a picture of the awesome daddy. I'll think. Yeah. You know who has some dank fucking fries like that? Zaxby's. The ones I instantly rem No, no, no. Instantly reminded me, Red Devil Pizza. They got fries like that? Oh, yeah. Well, without the cane sauce, buffalo chicken ranch fries. That sounds good. That's dank. All right, are you ready to go, dude? I'm fucking. I'm gonna die. I'm ready to go. It's hot as fuck here. You're not sweating a beat. I feel like I'm wet. I feel wet. It dry as my nipple, baby. I'm giving bitch. I'm giving bitch right now. You're giving beautiful. He's been hitting on me a lot, and babe, babe, I told him to stop. <laughs>
<laughs> Getting a twelve ball. I don't stop. Stop it any worse. Hey, hey, if you want this to stop, don't start fucking fucking with me. All right. All right. Uh, well, anyways, guys, you can follow us on uh, Daddy's Under Pod at gmail.com and Instagram, Daddy's Under Pod, TikTok, Daddy's Under Pod. Um, that's it. Tune in, comment, subscribe, share, follow. Tap in, eat like. my ass. Tap in, eat my ass. Peace.